What's up my Ponyos, Andy, Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're going to be going over the Pixel 5a case. Um, this is the actual case that you can buy on their website, which um, I'm going to test out for you guys, see if it's worth it. I highly recommend the Pixel 5a. This is a mid-tier phone that, you know, has almost all the bells and whistles that you can think of. All of the right bells and whistles. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, unbox this and show you if it's worth it. We're not going to be doing any like drop tests or whatnot, but we're going to be reviewing, you know, the impressions, the look, the lifestyle, you know, if it feels right, if it's too heavy, all that kind of good stuff. This is not a sponsored video. I uh, purchased this with my own money. So this is going to be an honest review, as you guys know. All right. Uh, there's really nothing special about this. It seems like it's just a plastic silicone cased. Um, I mean, they tout that 34% of it is from recycled plastics. It's got the branding, it's got the whole punch, it's got the camera bump, all that good stuff. Uh, it does have a really, really simple peel off uh, top of the case. And it kind of has this nice little uh, braided, you know, cotton little tag for hanging up in store. With that said, uh, the initial impressions here, I'm liking it. Uh, it already feels very, very soft in the hand. I ended up picking up, uh, I believe, the charcoal or the ash color. In its uh, minimalist fashion, there really isn't much else to the case. It's very, very plasticky and very, very silicone-y. Um, it feels like uh, the backside here is much stronger than the edges. Uh, I'm not seeing that it's been engineered here around the corners to you know, add that buffer in the event of a drop. It's kind of just flush with the case. So. That does leave me with, uh, you know, my head scratching a little bit. Obviously, it uh, seems like it's been engineered light nicely, so there's no sharp edges. And you've got kind of this two-tone from the inside to the outside. Um, with that said, uh, application is very simple. You just go from the bottom and then snap it into the top, and it uh, grabs it all the way around the phone. What's nice is this is engineered perfectly so that the phone doesn't, you know, reach over to this really, really tight bezel. Um, the Google phone itself has very tight bezels without a chin and a forehead. And uh, I haven't even gone in and, and done my account stuff. But you can see that, you know, you do have this black border around the screen and then the case itself touches right before that. So that's great to me. I think they've done a really good job keeping that simple. Um, it looks like there is, a, you know, a larger groove for this fingerprint sensor, but it looks like it gives you enough space around the sensor, um, around the edges of the sensor, so that you can clearly get a fingerprint on the sensor without it, you know, obscuring it. The camera bump of the case looks like it uh, it does extend a little wider, so this is going to make your phone just a tad bit wider. I would say instead of 0.3 of an inch, it's probably half of an inch now, now that you've got the extra spacing here. So just know if you wanted to have a very, very thin phone, this isn't going to be your thinnest case. On the top, it leaves you plenty of room for the microphone and the 3.5 millimeter jack as well as the charging port and the two speakers. All in all, this is nice. Um, I like how this matte uh, color plastic does not leave a lot of dirt or smudges, whereas the actual back of the phone um, does. And I am actually having a hard time getting this case from out around it. So, you know, that does leave me to believe that if this does drop, it ain't coming out of the case. Now, peeling it off here is actually making me grip my teeth. I don't like that. Um, I, I would like to be able to take this phone off once in a while, but you can see that there's definitely fingerprints here on the back of the Google phone, whereas the case itself kind of keeps you from that. Um, I've had a lot of cases that, you know, on their first fall, the case will pop off, which is irritating. Uh, the buttons themselves kind of, you know, extend that groovy power button and it keeps the long bar volume rocker it's still clicky it's nice i like that it also cuts in here on the speaker grill um, for you know your ear which is nice and it, it does pull up a little bit other than that i think this is a pretty solid case i would say i would say this is uh, worth your money the case is 29 dollars even a little bit more expensive than i'm uh, comfortable paying nonetheless you are getting a couple of those features like i mentioned that are nice all right, folks. Well, with that said here, um, here is the case. Here is the review and my opinion. I think um, it's a little bit too thick for my, my pleasure. 
I'm a little uh, a little concerned with the engineering where on the on the edges here there is no spacing or at least like the cross hatching to give you some buffer from when it falls it's just literally right up against the phone itself I didn't feel any cushioning so that does you know leave me to believe that if it fell you know it could be your first and last uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and test that though but this is my opinion with that said, I think this is a I think this is a good buy. It is a nice color. It still keeps the branding and all those other things that I mentioned. Um, it does have the lips here around the edges so that if it hits a, a desk or a table, the screen itself is being lifted and prevented from scratches, which is nice. Um, that's my review. If you guys like it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more down below in the links in the description will be a link to the product and availability for this product. Thanks so much for watching. This is Andy with Andy Vlogs. We'll see you in the next one.